today I'm going to be kind of talking about hair care and different like um, shampoos and um, just different hair tools you can use to help out your hair. I get a lot of questions on my hair, what I do, um, especially since my hair color is always changing. Um, throughout my videos you can see I've had blonde hair, this color hair, um, kind of like a reddish brown, a red color. My hair is always different colors. So I get a lot of questions on how to maintain colors, um, good hair products, and stuff like that. So I'm just going to kind of go through the ones that I've used and the ones that I'd recommend. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the um, brown, because that's what I have right now. So what I usually use is I'll use this. This is from John Freya. It's um, Brilliant Brunette Shampoo in Liquid Shine Illuminating. This is, I think, new. It's supposed to be for shine. Um, and then I'll follow it up with the conditioner. This is just the Shine Release Daily Conditioner. So these are the two that I recommend for, like, brunette hair. Um, I've been using these since I had my hair dyed almost a little over six months ago. Um, and it works really well. It keeps my hair nice and shiny and keeps the color very bright, um, vibrant. It tends not to um, strip the hair color out as fast as some shampoos do. Um, now, when I had blonde hair, um, usually with blonde hair you want to find a purple shampoo because it tends to help brighten up and strip a lot of the um, impurities out of blonde hair, which will kind of muddy up blonde hair. Now, the ones I used weren't purple shampoo. I did have purple shampoo that I would use on occasion, but I kind of tended to just use the ones I'm going to show you. It's in a purple bottle, but it's not purple shampoo. It's kind of like a pinky purple, I guess. Um, but it works really well. Those are the ones I recommend for blonde hair. Um, and this is the shampoo. It's by Bedhead, and it's called Dumb Blonde. This is like the massive bottle that I got at Ulta, but you can get these in smaller ones, too. It has a nice little pump, and you can see there's like crap on the end. But um, this is what I recommend for the blonde shampoo. And then for the blonde conditioner, it's by Bedhead, and it's also called the Dumb Blonde. And it's kind of a yellow bottle. So this is the shampoo, and this is the conditioner for, for blonde hair. Um, and it tended to help me get the impurities out to keep my color, um, especially the bleach, from kind of getting all the impurities that it would just, it helps to get it out, you know, it helps to keep the color clean. Um, and then when I had red hair, I never got, like, the red shampoo, um, red hair, I just kind of got colored ones. Uh, and this is a newer version of the ones that I had before, but this is the same stuff, just newer newer version. Um, this is the Pantene, Pantene Color Hair Solutions. This is a shampoo. Uh, this is good with any color, um, any kind of color processed hair is what it's supposed to help with. And this is the same thing only in the conditioner. So shampoo and conditioner. Um, I actually really like this. I just, my scalp doesn't like um, Pantene products very well. It tends to try to make my um, scalp kind of dry compared to a lot of other shampoos, so I'd use that only when I was running out of another shampoo, um, but it worked. It helped, you know, helped keep my color vibrant when I um, would use it, and I had nothing against it, just that my scalp is kind of a little sensitive to Pantene products. That's why I tended to go towards the John Frieda when I had the brown hair instead of that when I had the red hair. Um, so that's pretty much it for the shampoo version. Um, now, since I, my hair is always in really bad shape because I've done a lot of dyeing to it, I've done perms to it, I straighten it or, you know, flat iron it or curl it a lot, um, my hair is in need of some massive repairs, which is where deep conditioner comes in. Now, I never really use deep conditioner because, to me, conditioner was conditioner. Um, but the last couple of months, I've really been into this um, awesome three-minute miracle, which looks like this. Um, it smells amazing, as all Aussie products do. I think they have like, the best smelling products. It smells so good. Um, and this is just three minute miracle. Um, what you do is you, you know, wash your hair with a normal shampoo, any kind of shampoo you want, and then instead of conditioner, you use this in the shower. Um, and you kind of lather it in your hair, and you let it sit for three minutes, like it said, like three minute miracle, the name. And then you wash it out with warm water, and then you wash it out with cool water, and it ten it helps to condition your hair. Um, very, very well. It totally, like, breathes life back into your hair. Um, and this is actually isn't an expensive product. A lot of deep conditioners, I find, are kind of pricey. Um, this, I think, was, like, $4 at, like, CVS and Walgreens. Um, so it's not, like, a $20 deep conditioning product, which is really nice. Um, also, my um, hairstylist used to have, and I had blonde hair, I did this a lot, but 
um, then I found this. But if you don't want to go out and buy a conditioning treatment or something like that, you can take olive oil that you would use to cook with, and what you do is you put it, it has to be a day that you're not going out. <laughs> Obviously, you don't want to go out with olive oil in your hair. But you put it all over your hair, and you kind of like massage it in, and all through you just saturate every strand that you can get. Then you take a um, shower cap, and you put it, you know, your hair up and put it in the shower cap, and you leave it on all day. Um, as long as you possibly can, and what that'll do is it'll really coat each strand and help to um, seal moisture back in there. And then you wash it out with warm and then cool water, and as cool as you can stand at the end. So it really, because um, warm water opens up this, the uh, cuticles in the hair or the strands, and the cold water tends to make them um, come in, kind of come back together and close. So you want to keep some of that moisture in at the end. So you want to make sure you always end your um, hair product routine in the shower with cool water to kind of close in all the moisture. Otherwise, it's just going to leave your cuticles open for more damage. Um, so that's what I do in the way of deep conditioning. The olive oil is in, like, you know, a secondary thing you can do or also on top of a deep conditioning treatment as well. Um, now when it comes to heat protectants, I've tried pretty much every one there is. Um, I also tend to try not to dry my hair with a blow dryer unless I really have to run out of time. A lot of times I'll take a shower at night and let my hair air dry and my hair gets kind of wavy. So either if I'm going to, you know, leave it wavy, I'll scrunch it, which I'll put a link down there to my how to scrunch your hair video. It explains how to make your hair, you know, crispy, scrunchy, scrunchy look. Um, or I'll just let it air dry and then in the morning I'll either straighten it or curl it depending on what I want to do. When I do use any kind of hot product or if, even if I am going to blow dry it, I'll put on a heat protectant before blow drying and then after when I'm going to be using any kind of hot product. Um, like I said, I've tried pretty much every one there is because um, I'm like a freak about having to use heat protectant. The best one that I've found is the Chi Iron Guard. It looks like this. Now this, these are kind of pricey. I think I got this on sale for like $13 but they are usually a little bit more pricey compared to a lot of other stuff you can get. Um, but it does smell really good. Some heat protectants that I've used smell horrible. Like, ugh. This one really does leave your hair smelling pretty good, and it works really well. Um, so this is the one I recommend for heat protectant-wise. Um, so, yeah, a lot of questions about my hair. Yes, I do do a lot of damage to my hair. A um, lot and a lot of damage. But you can tell it's kind of looking a lot more shiny and a lot more healthy since I've been really taking care of it. Um, and those are the products that I recommend. Now, obviously, if they don't work for you, then you're, everyone's hair is different. Um, you know, different types of hair, different styles of hair, different scalps will work with things differently. These are the ones that I found that I would recommend to anybody that would want to try what I've done. Um, I get a lot of questions on it, so I wanted to answer the questions that I've gotten. Um, so, basically, that's really all I do with my hair. I'm very careful about what I do to it. A lot of times, before I started caring, I'd forget to put heat protectant on, and I would just, you know, not take care of my hair, and it really showed. I was getting split ends nonstop. My hair would, be, like, be breaking off because of the split ends, and it just really wasn't healthy. I was putting a ton of bleach on it when I had blonde hair, which, when you have blonde hair or you're bleaching it, you really need to take care of it, even with color. It's nothing good for your hair that you're going to put on your hair. Everything that you put on it is probably going to hurt your hair. Um, so you just got to make sure you take really good care of your hair because you, you know, once you do something bad to your hair, and it's going to take a long time to repair it. Um, a long time. I had a perm when I was like 13 and I, that was almost 10 years ago and I am still paying for the damage I did to my hair with the perm. So you just got to be careful with what you're going to do and kind of Try not to, you know, make your hair worse off. Take care of it and understand that, you know, you need to put the effort in if you want to have healthy, great hair. So I hope this was helpful and any questions that you have, um, I'll be happy to answer. And I'll see you guys very soon.